Welcome. I am Yarl Bear. Welcome to the next episode of our Lion of Leon campaign for Crusader Kings 3. If you've missed the other parts or any part of any of the other playthroughs, check out the playlist on the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. So we are starting where we left off in the 1st of March, 1105. As you can see, we now hold pretty much the western half of Spain. You can see our ally Aragon is also getting stronger. You can see our little <laughs> kingdom we have within them. France somehow grabbed a little area too. Don't remember how they do that, did that. But we are going south. We're going to go after the Taffa of Algarb. That is where we are headed next because it is a de jour part of the Duchy of ba Batalios that we took. I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names. So, with that being said, let us begin. So we have a lot of choices going on. We can declare wars, which we're going to do. Powerful expect council positions, I know. We can ask the head of our faith for gold. I don't want to do that because I don't want to waste the prestige or the piety that we have. We can negotiate alliances. Uh, yeah, we can try that later on. But first, we can pardon criminals and prison criminals. Count. Oh, I remember, yeah. I'm going to leave him alone for now. Wolves terrorizing. Takes 345 gold. Alright. We're not having... We don't have a Master of the Hunt. Is that going to make it harder? Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's go clear out these... Wolves. Land the Hunt. Hunt. Confirm. We're going to Raya. Uh, wait. Wolves terrorize. Holding a hunt might mean the sighting type in this county will improve your success chance. Okay. So yeah, I guess we do this. We hit plan hunt. Firm. Going up going to Soraya for the wolf sighting. Yes, okay, cool. Going to Soraya for the wolf sightings. Creation, just my desk, we're good. Reasonable party and search parties. Great, okay. Good. Caravan Master. Take Simone. Actually. Hmm. Yeah. Take Ramon, actually. And get going. Alright, so we're gonna go hunt the wolves. And now we're gonna turn our attention southwards. Oh, we can't declare war until we get back from the hunt. That makes sense. Okay. I forgot that we actually, like, physically go on these. Travel of travels to come. Journeying through Seya, I passed by a peculiar looking tent, splayed open with its yet more peculiar looking occupant inside. Come on in, O oh mighty king. I can tell you have you have many miles to go, and I can offer you a reading of your future travels for a modest price. Um, strange man has piqued your interest. Sure. Tell me my future, O oh wise one. Oh, travel bodes well. Lost 15 strayas, and we have good omens for five years. Sweet! Uh-oh. Danger, tempting fruit. It could be dangerous. On a road takes us through treacherous parts of Lerma. While I scan for dangers ahead, a rustling bush grabs my attention. Could it be a wild animal? As I embrace myself for impact, Edelf jumps out of the bush holding a plant. Got a fruit, and it smells so delicious. Uh... Hmm. What if it's poisonous? Yeah, let, let Edel feed it first. It was harmless plan after all. Good. Some of our uh, vassals are warring right now, which I guess is fine as long as none of them grow too strong, I suppose. 
Um, let's see. The travel, the trodden pass, the procession has ground to a halt, a stone's throw away from San Esteban. I took over to see my caravan leader, Ramon, dismounted and intently staring at something on the ground. The other entourage members have gathered around him. Ramon looks up as I approach. My lord, there is an ant path here. I may be a tad superstitious, but you should never cross an ant path. A great, great, a great grandmother did, and she never returned. Oh. Fine. Fine. Yep, yeah, fine. Just find a different path. <laughs> Whatever. Good new traits. As we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, my servants can get started on the preparations. The gamekeepers seek the highlands each day for signs of quarry. While establishing a camp closer to the high hunting grounds. Those wolves are close. I can feel it. Soon. <laughs> Almost there. It's time. My hunt is about to begin, and I am yet to name a master of the hunt. Uh, I don't think I need one, really. Felipe is the most fit. Rope. I don't need one. Felipe the foolish. And then Lope. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Sure. Felipe, you can be master of the hunt. Now, Felipe, your master of the hunt, summons the party to gather as the light reaches the camp in the highlands near Soria. My men have been gathering sightings of the wolf that terrorized the local area. There should be enough of the, to find the corner and beast. Okay, let's go. You're engaged in the hunt. Your culture is now fascinated by the heraldry innovation. Cool, heraldry. The noise of the others has faded as my knight, Edolf, and I stock up. On the wolf. I we finally learned something I have to tell you about Blanca. Um. Tell me later, man. The wolf is right in front of us. Why are you telling me this now? <laughs> Poachers here in the Count's Highlands. They held together as I ride up. The guards make it a poor job of hiding the dead stag behind them. <laughs> Their blades and bows belie their hearts. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Hang them. Don't poach my animals. Okay. My vassal Count Felipe signals across the slope. The whole wolf pack crouches in a hollow not far off. The beasts bolt up on our approach, howling the alarm as they retreat into the leafy bushes, fangs snarling. We chase after the fleeing gray vermin, focusing on the largest of the group. Now begins the real chase. We ride... Uh... Ooh, we can head it off in ambush. Or we could try chase it down, but the six chance, success chance is higher, but is a little more perilous. You know what? Let's ride for it. I feel good. Success chance is 80% now. Count Felipe likes me. I mean, this is coming to our advantage here. Shared knowledge. Okay, they're working together. Yay. We can hardly keep it with the blast. Ah, oh, we lost it. With an 80% chance, too. That sucks. 
Vassal taken prisoner by the guy that was revolting. Let us leave this adventure behind us. Curry says, but I gained the trade of Hunter, which is good. And I'm no longer stressed. Yay, no stress. Demand a hostage from King of Aragon. Why would I want to do that? Uh, because he's of my dynasty? No, that's, that's not. I can claim his title, though. Let's see. Who do I have to marry? Uh, I have a niece, a nephew. You have a daughter. Here. Perhaps my... Yeah, there we go. No reliance? Oh, never mind. Never mind. I just have the one... Yeah, I just have the one daughter. Her son. Okay, it's a son. Good. Just one son. I forgot. Um... Who's my son engaged to? Because my son, I'm pretty sure I had engaged somebody. Yes. Oh, he's already betrothed. Yes, yes, yes. The sister of the king. Okay, cool. Are we back from a hunt yet? Nope, not quite. We would delay three days. Yeah. <clears throat> a knight errant. It is known that the people of San Esteban seem to profess a special devotion towards the knights and their legends. My lord, the knight says, bowing his head. It is most unfor oh, it is most fortunate that you and I came to meet at this crossroad, for I am in search of a marvelous fountain, which water is set. You're looking for the fountain of youth? Felipe! A random knight. Um Follow the night. Maybe we'll find the fountain of youth. A night lead. The night leads us to a small clearing where a natural fountain glimmers. Careful, a beast, a guardian, points at a stag. Let us go. Kill the beast. Take the holy water. Hey, I gained the night errant, errant, and we got the healing water. Wow. Danger, this is fine. Traveling through the sometime harsh environments has invigorated effects on at least my state of mind and vigor. As I glance over at Ramon, however, he does not appear to be doing quite as good. Uh-oh. Uh, Rodrigo? Yeah, Rodrigo, can you treat him? There we go. Take care of that nice and quick. Uh, a duel demanded. Why? I'm imposing man is standing on the road ahead of us. I am Felipe of Valladolid. I have bested dozens of men in combat. And honestly, all those fights were dull. Okay. Um. Hmm. You best mean, you know what? You might be less valuable after I win. Let's duel him. Get him to join us. Nice, it worked. Oh, and now my glory is widely known. I am glorious. Glorious. Vassalize him, no. Oh yeah, there we go. I can go inside again. Forced vassalization. My son learned the Basque language. Okay. Um. I think we can still pull this off. So I'm not gonna do vacillation. I'm just gonna claim that land. Declare war. Raise all my armies there. And we march. Forward!
call allies. I don't know if we will need allies. 225 renown. We have plenty of renown. I'm going to use the 225 to call in Aragon. Because with this ally coming in and then possibly this one, that's going to be a significant amount and I want to make sure we don't get surprised. Thank you, excellent. Come, oh, my friends. Let us squash these enemies. Why am I overwhelmed? Oh, my friend Blanca died. Not my friend. No. We'll say, the music is so cool in this game. Come on in, Countess Guamor. Yes, serve me well. Welcome. Thank you. I take your oath. Gladly. Yeah, we already gained most of that back that we spent. Money we're doing good. We can sustain our army while it's raised. Which... Yep, here comes Aragon. Perfect. Each down their capital. Gonna upgrade this once the war is over. I'm no longer obese. Well, that's good. Uh, mental break. No time for myself. Ruin has been exhausting work as of late. It is like no subject of Leon can wipe their arse without my express instruction. <laughs> Play a small getaway to famous tavern. Probably about some no trivial. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll get a walk to get away. You know what? Yeah. Start doing that. Walks are good. Daily walks actually are really great for the mind and body. Oh, nice Aragon. All right. Yeah, this war's over. Whoop their only army, got us 50% war score, we'll take their capital, and then boom. Yep, captured the king, I'm gonna finish sieging this down. Boom. Onset sickening, right? What? Suddenly I can smell something, something I know I have smelled before, but where? A servant asked me if I'm right, but I cannot answer, I cannot do anything. How long was I gone? What? Well, that's concerning. Enforce my demands. Your lands are my lands. Good. Good. Very good. <laughs> nice. Quick and easy. What are you doing? This guy, I forget. What is he doing? Oh, right. He's revolting against my son. Right. Hmm. Oh, I can't join him. Curses! Alright. Good, so the war is over. We have extended all the way south. Faction rises against you? Dang it. I'm possessed? That's why? That's why I keep having episodes? I'm possessed? What the heck? I'm possessed! Oh. My veteran the independent independence faction. Oh, I just conquered you, that's why. Okay. Uh choo -choo -choo. oh yeah, I wanted to upgrade you. Boop. Upgrade. While we're at it, we might as well upgrade you. Armored footman, because you're very important. And then factions. Alright. Kingdom of Navarre, that's fine. Liberty faction, just her. Okay. Start swaying her. Keep everyone content and you know not revolting all right council what i i still don't know what like the colors mean 
or like which one's worse like is yellow better i i don't know but if i click freeze control like we have blue brown reddish yellow like what purple what does these mean Just increase that. Increase development. Leon. Start converting people. Control. Domestic affairs. Group schemes. All right, cool. We're good to go. Everyone except for. Rodrigo actually have pretty good stats for what they're doing. We could put the Countess in there, actually. She has much better stats. I'm going to do that. Rodrigo's not going to like it, but I think that's fine. Yes, perfect. All right. Oh, Rodrigo died. Dang it, my marshal. Ooh, okay. Um, boom, we can just put you in. Yeah, you have a role again. There you go, Rodrigo. Welcome back. Now you won't be mad at me, right? Right? Totally. So I think I'm going to push this war while we're still, while his armies are still weak. He has a contested title, so we could just push in, help him take it. But he doesn't like us, so I don't think we should help him. Dejo are part of the kingdom, but we have that. We could create the title of the kingdom of Batayos. We have no reason to create it because, I mean, not right now anyway. Clear war, so if we do Rogo Clash, we can take those three. Which, I mean, it's better than... That's actually pretty good. One. Two. So it would be his whole, like, uh, duchy. So let's, let's do it, I think. Player War is two allies. Both of them don't give him a lot of units. Okay, good. Clash, I'll be taking those three. Player War. Raise all our armies. And march. To war once more, my men of Leon. The lion roars for battle. <laughs> we do lose money now when raised because of the um, strengthening of our forces. That's okay because I wanted more men. I want to make sure that we can fight these wars. Oh, my cousin no longer wants her throne back of Navarra. Catch that army. Yes. Awesome. Excellent. All right, now we'll go siege it down since we whooped their butt. 50% on the war score already from that. That's amazing. And then we kept batting captured, and that faction disbanded. So we're about to go into 1107 here. New church is established, that's good. So we are conquering land and converting religions, which is very good. So we're going to end today's episode with like half of Spain now almost. Almost. Glory to the Lion of Leon. Going well. Oh. Exotic arms. Along with their strange goods, merchants bring tall tales from distant lands. Unverifiable, full of wonder. A group of Aragonese peddlers purport, purport to have brought gur objects. What? Said to have come from the faraway court of a great ruler, Malika Alima of Borgu. Ooh, I don't know that is. Elvira, the leading trader, grins darkly. This unique armor could be yours for a special price, of course, great king. Likely yarn. Look to Casino. You know what? 
180 for some scale armor? No, 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 no. No fake. But 180? Do, and we don't even really need that armor, so I'm gonna say no. 180 is just too much for our, us right now with us being at war and only having 300 gold. Oh, new points. Sweet. Okay. Um. Probably Overseer. Yes. Increase control by 20% in counties. Boom. Siege 1. 72% war score. March on. Take this one. Oh, Loba died. Oh, but we still have an alliance with Portugal because it's my sister-in-law. Nice. Oh, my sister-in-law is the Duchess now, which is actually pretty good for us. Excellent. Okay. And then Aragon. How old is my son? Is my son of Air of uh, age yet? Wrong one. There we get this one. Twenty-two. Okay. Yeah, 22 is great. Gonna put that guy in there. And then I needed to check. Oh yeah, I wanted to see how close to being of age my son is. He's eight, so he's halfway there. Okay, that's good. March of 1107, and we are flying through because I'm on four speed. I prefer using four speed when at war because it really helps get you through battles and um, siege times. But you know, that's just me. If you would like me to go slower or faster, just let me know in the comments. Oh. Wayne, pushing luck. I've finished reading the latest letter from Chancellor Countess Guiamar and smile. She seems to have worn to me at least. Good! Well, this is success. I am tempted to use this opportunity to try to get even closer. No, no, you are not. Uh, that seems like a really bad idea. Uh, yeah, no. Let's just, let's just help stop there. Stop with that. <laughs> I do need to check... My vassals, the ones that need to be swayed. Okay, so all of these are good, except for the two Islamic guys that we conquered and the Duchess, my sister-in-law. Uh, let's just get my sister-in-law like me. Hello, wifey. <laughs> get her to like us, and she's in charge of Portugal, which is one of our strongest... Vassals. Start swaying her. The Forsaken Village. As I tore my castle's grounds, a peasant elder approaches me. Great Lord, please have mercy upon us and save our village from the tyranny of Amir Yaha. Okay. Is that the guy we're at war with? No. My cousin. Uh. I will promise liberation because next time we can do that. Game and unpressed claim, sweet. I, you have my word. You will be liberated. It's this one. We will push it next year, next uh, episode. Next episode, we can attack this because their strength is three thousand. Oh, misdeeds of my spy master. In the evening, spy master Lucidio sits in a dimly lit council room. His gaze cruelly up beside me. He lay cold molds. Gracefully, but skillfully, uh, had I not caught him in the act, nobody would have been riser of his scheme. Oh, he's been lying. He's been defrauding the realm. Ooh. Hmm. Uh. Yep. Tell the dungeons with you. Uh, yeah, vassal and commander. Sure, you can. 13 is good. 14 is good. Um. Hmm. I don't want to just put my knight. I should probably put one of my vassals there. Sure. And at least he likes me. Alright. 
Liberty Faction's back. No longer my caravan master, because he's dead. Let's check out that faction. Start swaying you. It's not very far along. There we go. Oh, my mortal body. I'm sick. You seem to be under the weather, my lord. Uh, I do more than do no more than what is necessary. Just treat me normally. Oh, perfect. Yep, steamed herbs. Good. The ruse there too. All right. Yes. Excellent work. We're good. And now, force my demands. Victory. Beautiful. We're over our holdings, but that's fine. We're gonna take care of it. Realm will lose land if it inherits the typhoon. But uh, uh da, 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 da. okay. I'm gonna station you. Wait, I can't station you right now. You're right. You're, you're raised, right? I'm only a patrol when you find deserters. Yeah, apprehend them. Oh, I got wounded with it. Oh. Oh. Freedom and friendliness. King Romero has been incredibly friendly towards me. Alright, fine. Let this prisoner go, and we will have true friendship. There are no other ways, my acquaintance. Oh, all right. Well, we tried. They're gonna disband you. Gonna station you in Seville. And then with this, we should have Oh, we can't usurp it. No. Thought we'd be able to usurp the title. That is okay. That's fine. Still, look at this. We are getting there. We are definitely getting there. Alright, so we're going to go on to the beginning of 1108, and then we will call it an episode there. Virus hunt. Uh, yeah, we'll join the hunt. Okay. Good. Oh, my counselor died. I didn't sleep. Day. Well, time for a new spy master. I forgot what they were called for a second. Uh, boom. Here we go. Port position and night fifteen. I would do him because he's twenty, but he does not like me, and I don't trust that. So, fifteen. Boom. Onward to the new year. Hunting, making camp. We oh, yeah, are wounded from the deserters. I forgot. Soon. Nice to talk to you, Duchess Elvira. Hello. And the hunt begins. All right, so we are in 1108, January 1st. Aragon's expanded. We've expanded. So I'm going to push an attack Tula Tula. I think that's how you pronounce it. Next time. So if you join me next Monday, we will continue our grand adventure as the Lion of Leon and attack Tula Tula. And, I mean, if we do attack him... Um... um He has a couple allies, but he has four allies, but only only one of them are actually outside of his realm, and it's not, um, yeah, it's down here. So, I mean, we'll attack him, and if need be, we can call in Aragon, France, and Brittany. So really, it's not, yeah, I mean... We have a very good chance for this war. And let's see. I want to see Leon. This is your part of Espana. We need 70 counties. We have 44. So we are over halfway to what we need to create Espana. So if we, if we were to get 
Kingdom of Aragon. That would bring a lot more. And... Yeah, okay, cool. Excellent, actually. We can make the Kingdom of Portugal... Kingdom of Valencia... And... I'm getting achievements. <laughs> and Kingdom of... Batallos. Yeah, we can create all these. I don't know. Do those go towards the creation of the empire? Do I need to create these kingdoms in order to create the empire? If you guys know the answer to that, please let me know. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode as the Lion of Leon. If you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and bell button for me. I hope you've enjoyed the rebrand as well. Um, if you ever have a comment, suggestion, concern, anything at all, drop that in the comment section down below for me and I will get back to you because I do read all the comments. If you ever want to support me further, check out the links in the description of the video. You can find my humble bundle, my merch, and of course, my Discord, where you can come to get me, get to know me and your shield brothers and play video games with us. But that's enough for me for today, and as always, I am the Yarl Bear. Sorry, I still getting used to that. I am Yarl Bear. And I'll catch y'all next time. Glory to the Lion of Leon! <laughs>